introducing the 1984 TV series, Hunter, a timeless classic that has left a lasting impression on audiences. Starring a well-known Hollywood actor, the show unfolds with a captivating narrative that seamlessly blends humor, shock, and sorrow. As you delve into the episodes, you might find yourself pondering who was your favorite iconic actor in this TV series. The journey through Hunter is not just about the on-screen drama, it's about the memories it creates for the audience. Do you have a special memory associated with this TV series? Perhaps a moment that brought laughter, surprise, or moved you emotionally? Stay tuned for more as we uncover the amusing, surprising, and heart-touching facts woven into Hunter. Your preferred classic Hollywood actor and cherished memories are just the beginning. Share your stories and experiences with us in the comments below. We would love to hear them. So, who was your favorite iconic actor in this TV series? Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Hunter? Share your thoughts below. We're eager to hear your stories. Step into the captivating world of the 1984 TV series, where each episode unfolds like a well-told story, leaving a lasting impression on its viewers. Imagine a small screen filled with the magnetic presence of a Hollywood actor whose skill goes beyond just TV. This classic show is more than just entertainment, it showcases the great storytelling of its time. As you watch, you'll experience a mix of humor, surprises, and emotional moments. The actor, a well-known Hollywood figure, brings the character to life, creating a compelling range of feelings that still connect with audiences today. What makes this TV series special is its ability to bring back fond memories for viewers. Do you remember a moment that made you laugh, gasp, or feel moved? Exploring this classic is not just about the on-screen drama, but also about the lasting impressions it left on the audience. As we explore more about this series, we invite you to share your stories and experiences in the comments below. Who was your favorite actor in this TV series? What special memory do you cherish? Your personal stories add depth to the narrative, making the journey through this classic even more interesting. So, let's uncover the layers of Hunter, discovering the amusing, surprising, and heart-touching aspects woven into its story. Join us in reliving the magic of this 1984 TV series and sharing the moments that made it unforgettable. Set against the backdrop of the 1950s, a significant time marked by the aftermath of World War II and the start of the Cold War, the 1984 TV series was heavily influenced by the cultural and historical context of that period. The 1950s was known for its conservative values, shaped by the post-war recovery, fostering a conformist society with traditional beliefs and fixed gender roles. The TV series, emerging in the early 1980s, took inspiration from the socio-cultural atmosphere of the 1950s. The story subtly reflects the lasting impact of that era, exploring societal norms and expectations prevalent during the 1950s. The show's themes of duty, loyalty, and justice resonate with the values associated with the post-war period. Additionally, the 1950s witnessed the ascent of television as a dominant medium, influencing public opinion and cultural norms. The TV series, born in the 1980s but rooted in the 1950s, pays homage to the golden age of television, capturing the essence of storytelling from that time. The charismatic Hollywood actor, whose on-screen presence goes beyond the small screen, becomes the vessel for this nostalgic journey. By aligning itself with the cultural milieu of the 1950s, the 1984 TV series delves into the tensions and complexities of a society in transition. The contrast between these two periods allows the show to navigate through the subtleties of human relationships, societal expectations, and the evolving concept of justice. The echoes of the 1950s provide a rich context against which the characters navigate, adding layers of depth to the storytelling. In conclusion, the historical and cultural setting of the 1950s becomes a compelling background for the 1984 TV series, infusing it with a sense of nostalgia and authenticity. The show's themes and content are seamlessly integrated into the fabric of that era, offering viewers a captivating glimpse into a time when societal norms played a crucial role in shaping individual destinies. The journey through the 1984 TV series becomes a poignant exploration of timeless values in the ever-changing landscape of human experience. In the world of weaponry, he showed with a clear preference for variety, frequently changing handguns throughout the series. However, amidst this diversity, one constant remained the Franchise Spa's 12 shotgun. This shotgun was known for its innovative design, seamlessly transitioning from pump action to semi-automatic, a unique feature at the time. 
Its ability to fire blank ammunition was made possible by a special adapter crafted by Pat Squire, the importer of Spa's 12s from Italy. Notably, this shotgun made appearances in various movies and TV shows, including a memorable one in The Terminator. Shifting focus to his sidearm in Season 1, he wielded the Heckler and Cock P9S Sport, a rare and expensive competition handgun facing discontinuation in 1984. This firearm boasted revolutionary features such as polygonal rifling in its barrel, a delayed roller lock action, a combat trigger guard, and various adjustable elements. Available in both 9mm and 45 ACP, the P9S Sport showcased sophistication and functionality, adding a distinctive touch to his arsenal. Away from the action-packed scenes, the series provides a glimpse into his life outside the force. His beachside residence, featured prominently in the show, was situated on the Strand in Hermosa Beach, California. This choice of location added a layer of authenticity to the narrative, grounding the character in a specific and recognizable setting. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of his weaponry and the filming locations, the series unveils a nuanced portrayal of its protagonist, highlighting both his professional and personal dimensions. These subtle details contribute to the show's authenticity and captivate audiences, providing a more comprehensive understanding of his world. Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's journey through the seventh season of the TV series reveals details about his rank and weapon choices. Portrayed by a well-known Hollywood actor, he wears a distinctive uniform indicating his Sergeant II rank. Officer Joanne Molensky, with a Police Officer 3 Plus 1 designation, displays chevrons and a star. Interestingly, despite being a detective, Hunter lacks the lozenge indicator under his chevrons. Throughout the series, his weaponry evolves. From a 9mm semi-auto to a 44 Magnum, an IMI Desert Eagle, a revolver, and back to a semi-auto pistol, his firearm choices showcase a love for variety. Curiously, the show's introduction consistently features the original 9mm semi-auto, creating a sense of continuity. Another detail revolves around Detective Sergeant D.D. McCall's badge number, succinctly 358, adding specificity to her character. Hunter's diverse handgun choices contrast sharply with the consistent use of his franchise spa's 12 shotgun. This innovative firearm seamlessly transitions between pump action and semi-automatic with a special adapter allowing it to fire blank ammunition. Notably featured in the Terminator, this shotgun adds authenticity to Hunter's arsenal. Season 1 provides a glimpse into Hunter's sidearm, the Heckler and Cock P9S Sport, a rare and expensive competition handgun facing discontinuation in 1984. Its revolutionary features, including polygonal rifling and a delayed roller lock action, contribute to the character's portrayal. Away from the action, the series introduces viewers to Hunter's beachside residence on the Strand in Hermosa Beach, California. This choice of location adds authenticity, grounding the character in a specific and recognizable setting. In the world of weaponry and personal nuances, the 1984 TV series skillfully navigates the various dimensions of its protagonist, offering audiences a comprehensive understanding of his professional and personal life.